Welcome back, Yankees fans. Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Hola, como estas? Los Yankees de New York are on a tear. That is eight in a row. If you recall, about four days ago or five days ago, I uploaded a video titled, The Yankees are now mastering the art of the win streak. And that's exactly what they have done. Also, I see a whole bunch of Yankees fans out there saying, haha, the Red Sox are losing to the Rays. If you follow my channel, I said that the Yankees will sweep the Angels and they'll be like one game behind the Red Sox once they are done with the Angels. It's just bound to happen now that Mookie Betts is out for, let's say, day to day. I don't see the Red Sox starting Mookie Betts. He came out the game with an injury he's the Red Sox heart and soul he's the player that gets them going so with him out they're going to be swept by the Rays I might be wrong I might be right but if my analysis is on point the Yankees will sweep the Angels and the Rays will sweep the Red Sox putting the Yankees one game behind the Red Sox for first place and I do predict that the Yankees will win the series, the four-game set, against the Astros just for the simple fact that the Yankees look comfortable playing in hotter and warmer weather. Also, there's a few Yankees fans out there saying that the Yankees are unstoppable, that the Red Sox are garbage, that the Red Sox are done. I wouldn't count the Red Sox out for nothing. They have a strong starting rotation, etc., I mean, they're going to be neck and neck all season long. So when you say stuff like that, it just helps out the Red Sox because the target on their back is not there and the target is placed on the Yankees putting pressure on them. So you're seeing the Yankees win now because the pressure wasn't on them. The pressure was on the Red Sox and we need to leave it there. We need to respect what the Red Sox can do and like that, if you ask me, it's smooth sailing. So the Yankees have won eight straight. I predict they will win nine straight or up to 10 straight. But there's going to be a monkey wrench thrown in to, let's say, this team's chemistry when Brandon Drury is called up to this team again. And I say this because they might call down Miguel Andahor. There's been rumors that Miguel Andahor will be sent back to AAA once Brandon Drury is called up. I don't know if he's been called up already. But if you ask me, it's just going to ruin the chemistry this team has going on. Even though Miguel Andahar wasn't hitting these couple of games, he has found his stroke again. So plugging Drury instantly to third base, it's a bad idea in my opinion. If you ask me, Drury needs to own or work for that spot again. That spot, in my opinion, belongs to Andahar. And if Andahar is not showing you, let's say, that it doesn't belong to him, he's struggling, then I could agree, yeah, plug Drury in there. But Drury has never been, let's say, an all-star on the major league level. He's been so poor. So to give Brandon Drury a crown of king of third base after he lied, because that's what he did, he lied about having concussions or ha keeping it a secret from the Yankees and Diamondbacks, I make him work for that spot. I wouldn't give it up that quick. I would let Andahor keep playing at third, and if Andahor struggles, then you plug in Drury at third base. People keep saying, oh, why don't they plug him at first base? He'll just play first base. We could keep all these guys up here at the major league level. But that just doesn't make sense. Players like Andahor need to see reps at the plate. And this is why you're hearing rumors that he will be sent down to AAA once Brandon Drury makes it back up to the MLB again. But like I said, uh, once the Yankees are in love with a player, they, they just want to experiment with that player. I guess they see Drury as another Gregorius. I don't know. I don't see it. I mean, Andahor is just red hot. Andahor will continue to offensively help your team. So I don't understand that move. I mean, I guess they got to make the move because they did trade for Drury. But originally, I did not agree with that trade. So 
I guess you got to go to other people's channels to listen to their opinions because, like I said, I'm not a jury guy. I was more of a Manny Machado guy than uh, Andahor guy. And, I mean, if Andahor's performing, there's no need to call him down to Triple A. It makes absolutely zero sense, and it's just going to kill the chemistry that the Yankees have right now. I mean, wow, they have one H straight. You really want to mess with that? I mean, plugging in a guy that hasn't played in – the major leagues in a couple of weeks replacing him with a red hot stud like Andahor because he, he is a stud makes zero sense to me so anyways Yankees fans the Yankees keep rolling like I said they will sweep the Angels by the time this series is over with you will see them one game behind the Red Sox and like I said my prediction is they win the series against the Astros so like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.